America's most recent representative to the Venice Biennale delivers a powerful message you can experience right now here in D.C. I'm Peter Winant. My best bet is the eponymous exhibit at the Hirshhorn Museum and Sculpture Garden, Simone Lee. Simone Lee's meteoric rise in the art world is reflected in the Hirshhorn Survey's focus on her recent work, including three new sculptures alongside work from the Biennale. Lee's sculpture delves into themes that are specific to her identity as a black woman, yet resonate universally. Working in clay and bronze, her methods and materials are cutting edge, yet tethered to ancient traditions, often at heroic scale. Outside the museum, satellite draws on classic African sculptural forms, yet its scale pushes the limits of handwork and bronze casting capability. Lee rejects small models that are blown up by computer-driven technology. The base of satellite was modeled by hand in clay and the dish in clay and plaster at the size they were cast. But come inside. This is an exhibition that anyone can and should connect with. Recurrent references to shelter and vessels that conjoin with the female form are a basic language here. The shape of a jug is repeatedly used, often four feet tall, replacing a wide skirt. A metaphor, perhaps? We get to ponder the possibilities in seamless bronze or imperfect ceramic glaze. Lee's women are strong and present in every detail, except the occasional lack of a head, or in many cases, a head without eyes. These pieces are large enough to dominate, yet the ultimate identity and connection are incomplete, with the windows to the soul absent. We must complete them if we can, and we should try. Get to Simone Lee at the Hirshhorn Museum before it closes on March 3rd. I'm Peter Winant, and to catch more of my Around Town Best Bets, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching. For more Around Town Best Bets, visit us online at weta.org slash best bets.